What should be considered in the standby current measurement? If the battery suddenly becomes empty after a long time the car is not used and you suspect a silent electric consumer, first check the battery. Maybe the battery is defect and discharges itself. If you check your battery and the voltage is ok, you can make the measurement. At first you turn off all the electric consumers in the car. All doors must be closed and locked. If doors or flaps need to remain open, fix the locking contact so that the control unit realize a closed vehicle. After that you make the battery and fuse boxes accessible for the measurement and close the vehicle. Before you start the measurement, you have to wait for the delay time about 30 minutes. The follow up time describes the time all control units steadily shut down. That's the time between the vehicle is locked and the bus rest begins. This time clearly to see in this diagram. In the first period of about 10 minutes after lock up the vehicle, high data bus activity is still noticeable. Control devices such as the immobilizer system, the navigation system and the central locking are still active. After 10 minutes the second period starts. Various control units go into standby mode and run only with reduced power consumption. This phase lasts about 20 minutes. After a total of about 30 minutes this follow up time is over. Then the third period joins. In the bus dormancy all control units are in sleep mode and only supplied with a poor current of ca 20 mA. This rule out a silent consumer. If a current flow of 20 mA would be violated then an accurate turbo shooting must be done. So pull the individual fuses to see when the current drops to the permitted value. Consumers which runs on the unplugged fuses should be checked closely.